ass tough. They got you locked up for life, my boy. The hell wrong with you? Hello guys, Ancient Kim Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. As for this video, we're gonna talk and kind of review the new Adrenaline Fluid Motion Drivers, which once again are preview drivers. So kind of a beta driver that AMD released for people to see what they would bring on the first quarter of 2024. So do not expect to see the features that you have here until quarter 1 2024 for the official drivers. These are only preview slash beta drivers. And I'm bringing this video because these drivers were updated once again and they are on their fifth or sixth or sixth version. I believe it's on their fifth and yeah, that's my cat. And I'm here doing a video for you guys with the updated things and the goods and the bads that I found with these drivers because there are some, but we'll talk about that later. I let Willy. I let Willy in the camera. Mm. So after drivers and cats, let's now go to the release notes. But before, today's sponsor is Maximum Settings, a cloud-based gaming service where you won't need to spend thousands of dollars to upgrade your PC or a personal nuclear plant to boot up your system. Just do it! And for as low as 9.95 Canadian dollars a month, you can play the most recent games on your computer, even if your hardware isn't prepared. Sign up today for your full Linux gaming PC with no resource sharing and start enjoying high-level gaming on any PC. Just before the release notes, remember that these drivers won't appear to you out of the blue. You have to go into Google and search AMD Fluid Motion Drivers and they will appear on Google and all you have to do is go to AMD's website and download the preview drivers if you don't have them already. After that, just don't forget to, to remove your previous drivers with EDU, Display Driver Unit Installer or AMD's Cleanup Utility and then you install the preview drivers. And once you go to the normal Adrenaline ones, you do exactly the same to avoid any kind of issues. You go, use DDU or AMD's cleanup utility, and then install the official adrenaline once again. As for the release notes, if you don't know, these drivers basically uh, present the fluid motion frames, the AFMF by, by AMD, which is kind of an AMD's FSR3 inside the driver, so you can kind of use the, the fluid motion frames inside almost any application, being it the X11, the X12, and it seems that it also now works on Vulkan as well and emulators, but we'll get there. After that, AMD actually enabled the, the fluid motion frames for the 6000 series, so you can use these drivers with the RX 7000 series and 6000 series. RDNA, RDNA 1 is still not uh, usable with AFMF, so you your your 5700 XT, your 5700 non XT, 5500 XT, those cards can't use the AFMF at least for now, but the 7000 and 6000 series can. After that, we had some updates, and those updates were on October 6th. We are responding to the excitement from our community and are adding support for the RX 6000 series desktop graphics cards. In October 13th, we had more updates, now with improved stability, support for HDR and so on. Basically, the improved stability uh, actually improved a lot the experience we had before with fluid motion frames. It just felt wrong and it stuttered way more and had way more motion artifacts than it should. So, the... the, the um, the fluidness, let's say that, of the of the image was way, way worse than it should. And with this update on October 13th, the overall performance of the fluid motion frames were vastly improved and it works now wonderfully for most games. Not all, we'll talk about that once again, uh, but most. And now we have the newest update for November 9th. Improvements to driver stability during task switching, basically when, when doing alt-tab and some other things, and improvements to resolve cases of AMD Software Adrenaline Edition intermittently crashing or failing to display metrics. And this seems to be all that we have for the for the new updated version of the drivers. Once again, after the, that anti-lag plus thing, AMD didn't say a word, any, any word, about anti-lag plus, if it is coming once again, if they worked it out, uh, if it is still banning people. I do believe that AM AMD should actually leave the anti-lag plus option for games that aren't competitive games. For example, for single player games, the anti-lag option should be still enabled, but it isn't. They disable it for all games instead of disabling it 
only for the games that could you that could have you banned like counter strike 2 and so on so on so on so which is a bummer you have a feature that you had it working but it, it now doesn't work because amd disable it because sometimes people were getting banned mostly on counter strike 2 and now let's go to the goods and the bads, mostly the part that you want to see. As for the bads, I actually found that with my 7900 XTX, at least with the 7900 XTX, we have less frames per second in some games. One of those games is Alan Wake 2, because it seems like Alan Wake 2 implementation is not still done for the preview drivers. And I can see that firstly, because Alan Wake 2 doesn't go to the gaming tab or the gaming, uh, yes, the gaming tab automatically. I have to go there and add the game, the, ex the executable of the, of the game. I have to add it to the Radeon software because it doesn't automatically detect it, meaning that the drivers don't support it, but the 23.11.1 drivers do. So all you have to do with those, with those drivers is go to Alan Wake 2 and it will support the game automatically the game will show there, something that does not happen with the preview drivers. And in order to use the fluid motion frames in Alan Wake 2, you actually have to go there once again and add the game manually to the list and then enable the fluid motion frames. And only then they will work. Even if you go to the global settings and enable the fluid motion frames, at least to me, it didn't work. As soon as I uh, manually enabled or manually added the game to the Radeon software and then enabled the fluid motion frames, well, then it did work. Although it didn't work as it was supposed to, and although the, the software said it didn't have any stutters, well, it did. Because I could definitely see that, um, that the fluid motion frames weren't working as they were supposed to. As soon as I enabled or I, I went into Cyberpunk 2077, fluid motion frames worked well. As soon as I went into some other games, fluid motion frames worked well. But as soon as I went into Alan Wake 2, I could feel way way better smoothness with 95 real frames than for example locking the frames to 78 in order to achieve 156 frames with fluid motion. And in theory the 78 frames with fluid motion should feel way more fluid as they do for example with Cyberpunk 2077 but in Alan Wake 2 they didn't. So even if you want to use fluid motion frames with Alan Wake yeah, uh, it just won't happen, it will work It will work quite poorly. And on top of that, you have less FPS than the 23.11.1 drivers, because once again, these drivers do not, do not support the optimizations for Alan Wake 2. If you are playing Alan Wake 2, you do not want the preview drivers. What you want is to install the 23.11.1 drivers that perform quite well in Alan Wake, and especially better in terms of ray tracing. So it's a win-win situation for the 23.11.1 drivers here. And on top of that, you also have less performance, a, a little bit less, not as much as Alan Wake 2, but a little bit less performance in Modern Warfare 2 with this new patch. Something that I, well, I don't really care because it's a really small percentage, but in Alan Wake 2 is definitely noticeable. But we also have good things, of course, and one of the good things is that well, fluid motion frames AFMF works for most games and according to some users, it now works as well on Vulcan instead of being only supported by the X11 and the X12 games. It also works on Vulcan games, meaning that it can be used in emulators like the Samu, like Dreamcast emulators and so on. You can use it on emulators and according to one of the users that commented on my channel today, it seems that, at least on the emulators that he uses, he can use the fluid motion frames and it works. Also, we have lots of many other things like improved metrics on these new fluid motion drivers. We have the option to record at 30, 60, 90 and 120 FPS. So recording at 120 FPS is especially better uh, not for YouTube, but it is especially good for people wanting to do slow motion videos because you have double the frames that you would have with the previous version, which only allows you to record at 60. Even Nvidia and Intel do not allow you to record at over 60 FPS, but AMD with these drivers allows you to record at 90 and 120. And I've tested it and it works. So overall, it all comes to what you want. If you want more performance overall, if you want more stability and more support for the most recent games, you go with the 23.11.1 drivers and maybe the 23.11.2 drivers that will, well, that will come out in some days, I suspect, uh, for Modern Warfare 3 and so on. If you want more features like the 120 FPS recording, fluid motion frames and so on, then, 
well and you don't really mind about getting a little less a little a little less performance in some cards uh, especially with Alan Wake 2 then you simply go to the fluid motion drivers to the preview drivers because they offer way way more features and fluid motion frames for most games and well guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot and I guess that I see you in the next one. By the way, just don't forget to check my previous videos. I made a video on Starfield improved performance, which was an insane improvement in performance in some scenarios, up to 50% with the 7900 XTX when using FSR in the cities, in the, especially in the cities part, in terms of CPU optimizations, of course. And I also did a video of 40 games tested with the 4060 Ti at 1440p, sometimes using DLSS, sometimes using native resolution, ray tracing, frame generation, and so on everything tested there so don't forget lay an eye on my video section because i'm pretty sure that i have some interesting videos for you once again thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video guys cheers Pew. the payphone was ringing somehow i knew the call was for me Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me.